There are many note taking apps like Room, Notion, Obsidian, Evernote which we use according to why we need them. Someone needs these note taking apps to be productive while other may need them for personal knowledge management. College students also use these tools for active recall and speed repetition which are actually scientific proven most effective studying strategies. Hey guys, I'm Abhidev and I create videos about books, productivity tools, note taking and all the things that I find interesting. And if you find this sort of content cool, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. In today's video, we are going to compare two most powerful personal knowledge management applications, which are Room and Oxygen. Both of these tools are amazing with pretty similar features, but there are some differences too, which should be taken care of while deciding between the two. Here are the timestamps according to which we are going to understand both of these apps so that you may get an overview of the whole video and you can easily switch to the part of the video which you really want to understand. First, we will talk about what kind of security these apps follow and how safe these apps are in the terms of your data security. Then we will see various pricing options Roam and Obsidian provide. Then we will take a look into both of their structures like how they actually work. And then we will move to the most important thing which is personal knowledge management which is bi-directional linking. And at the last we will see some of the features which makes Obsidian and Roam unique in their own way so that you can choose according to your usage. So yeah, let's start the video. The most secure platforms for note taking are the ones which have local file storage or are based on the end-to-end -end encryption. Obsidian is more personal and is one of the most secure note taking apps. All of your notes are saved on your device and you can take your notes wherever you want. The thing is that Obsidian basically follows basic markdown structure which means that it is similar to notepad and you can access these files on any device if that device supports markdown files. Whereas when we see Roam on the other hand, it is cloud based note taking app. Your data is stored on the cloud and it is not end to end encrypted which basically means that your data is saved with the Roam's team but if someone gets the access to the Roam servers then they can easily access what you put on these note taking apps. Roam also already said that it will be extremely difficult difficult to incorporate E2 encryption across databases as this would hamper the way in which the linking in the app works. Obsidian is completely free for personal use but if you want more features like development support, early access to insider builds or even want room for commercial use, you can always opt for the Catalyst or commercial plan which are priced at $25 plus for Catalyst which you need to pay one time and $50 per user per year for commercial which will be charged yearly. And just a few days back they launched some add-on services with end-to-end -end encryption which will be offered once the mobile app is released. You can check on their website and I will link it in the description box below. On the other hand, Roam does not have any free version. You need to pay $15 per month or $165 per year for the professional version. And if you guys choose their believers version, you need to pay $500 for 5 years. Although they also have a Roam scholar program where if you are a full-time researcher or are under 22 years old or experimenting any financial distress, you are eligible for the significant discount. You just need to fill out their form with the details. Roam is built around a block-based outliner structure. This means that every time you press return, a new line is created, then it becomes its own block. These blocks can then be nested indefinitely underneath each other and they can be collapsed or zoomed into or out of each other. This thing is like the major difference between Roam and Obsidian and this matters so much because it becomes too messy if you are working with lot of information. But with block based structure, you can easily collapse your points and this allows for impressive block level filtering capabilities and provides contextual information when we use backlinks. On the other hand, Obsidian is structured at page level and cannot provide contextual information using backlinks. So bidirectional linking is basically how you can jump forth and between your ideas using referencing and tags. You can take a page and link it to all the other similar pages in your notes which will keep your thoughts interconnected. Room and Obsidian both allow backlinks but backlinks on Obsidian are slightly less effective than Room. Obsidian allows for easy linking between notes using wiki style formatting but doesn't allow you to link text in blocks. You can only link your basic headers. In Obsidian, tags and page links are handled separately which means that they both serve unique functions 
Tags can be used to provide an additional level of structure or denote certain types of pages, whereas link typically serves as the primary method of connecting pages together. But in Roam, tags and page links works completely the same. You can use hashtags to create tags or can use double brackets to create the links. Unlike Roam, when you create links in the Obsidian, pages are automatically generated until you click on the link. You can still link it to the other pages, look them in the graph view, and even you can search if that link is not a separate page. Obsidian as being a free app for personal use provides a huge advantage here by which you can first use the platform and see if it works for you or not. You also have a plugin access, API access and a secure platform to put your information. And Obsidian also comes for Windows, Mac OS, Linux and their team is also working on a mobile app where end-to-end -end encryption will be provided. Whereas Roam is a platform for frictionless note taking with a simple interface where blocks can be nested indefinitely underneath each other to manage your notes and as Roam says on their website that it is a note taking tool for the network thought. You can import Markdown and JSON files on Roam and it is a web based application. They do not have any apps for the Windows, Mac OS or any other operating system but Roam's team is working to bring the app soon. First let's start with Roam. People who are using Roam for their entire life for project management, task management, CRM, knowledge management and journaling will find it quite difficult to switch from Roam to Obsidian. The lack of base block level structure in the Obsidian will hold back users when it comes to task or project management and still it is the best out there when it comes to contextual backlinking. Whereas Obsidian on the other hand is a powerhouse note taking and knowledge work application at an amazing price which is $0. It has most of the features of the Roam and even and expands on other parts as well such as graphs, local storage and privacy. And Obsidian team is only a two-person show. Both of the developers are extremely impressive coders and have a history of successful projects who are working at a high development pace for future improvements. The lack of base block level and outliner structure is the main differentiator and may be the limiting factor especially for those currently rooted in the Roam's ecosystem. Otherwise, a clear choice for folks who are strongly interested in privacy and future-proof knowledge. I know there are many more differences too, but I've tried to cover them all. And if somehow I miss some other important points which you guys were looking for then put them in the comment box below and guys don't stop your research here connect with both of this amazing community on reddit facebook and discord and i will mention all the links in the description box below and then decide which should be the option for you until then don't forget to connect to me on social media and please subscribe to my channel it helps me so much to keep my wheel rolling when i see you guys appreciating what i do see you guys in the next video